YouTube is changing. YouTube's drama is tearing us apart. Drama alert is cancer. Leafy is here, should go kill himself. Okay, PewDiePie and, and Markiplier, YouTube has always been changing. The more something grows, the more community grows, you bet your ass that there's gonna be more fucking drama involved. And I'm sure you guys realize that. I mean, you've been on this site for fucking ever. You're practically the founders of it. And I'm not stupid. I know you guys aren't actually the founders of it. But you guys are pretty damn close because you're so fucking old. You got beards already. You got pink hair already. You've been riding that YouTube dildo, that golden ass YouTube golden plated fucking dildo for so long that when new shit comes around that takes your views from you, you want to fucking stomp it out, like, right away! And I get it, guys. When you've been on this site as long as you have, you hate to see it change. But seriously, why are you fucking talking about it like it's something you can change? You can't change, change. Change is the only constant thing that doesn't fucking change. That made no sense at all. PewDiePie, when you said that drama alert is is a problem. I don't get it, dude. Like, Drama Alert just covers the problems. It, it doesn't create them, and I'm not saying that Keemstar isn't an asshole, because Keemstar is a fucking asshole. Drama Alert Nation now with almost a million subscribers, and all of them hate me. But, bitch, he's my asshole. But seriously, all he does is cover the news. He's a news channel, and when a community grows the way YouTube is growing, you're gonna have news channels. Just like when I was a 15-year-old little bitch, and I had a head full of lice, I didn't know much about lice back then, but I knew for a fact that those motherfuckers had a news channel up there. And yeah, sure, Keemstar fucks up sometimes. I mean, he did make a bunch of 62-year-old men cry a couple months back, but that was a long time ago when he said he was sorry! Also, it was said in one of those videos that other YouTubers make videos about the drama to get likes and subs and views and fame and fortune and fucking graham crackers and yes I'm making this video for views I don't get any money off of it I want people to see my opinion and the more people that see my opinion the better because I wanna get my fucking opinion out there motherfucker that's what YouTube is in case y'all didn't know this YouTube's motto is broadcast yourself not shut the fuck up and keep it to yourself so yes I want views on this video. I want views on all of my videos. Who the fuck uploads videos and is happy with one view? And it's from their grandma. Like, who the fuck is happy about that? You do it. Do it because you like it. Don't do it for the subs. Don't do it for the views. Do it because you like talking to yourself and talking into a camera with no one else watching. Especially when you put hours and hours of fucking work into your videos and you get no fucking views whatsoever. You're supposed to be happy about that motherfucker. You are supposed to be happy about not getting views. And if you do get views, hell, you're probably supposed to be unhappy if you get views. Oh man, I wanted to stay unnoticed forever. You see where I'm going with this? There's nothing wrong with making a type of video about a something, you know, like staying on top of a trending topic if you're a YouTuber because you want views. But also, Obviously, you want your opinion to be heard, and there's nothing wrong with that for sure. So, um, yeah, I guess I, I went into a bit of a rant, but yeah, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to leave a like. It makes me so happy when you guys leave a like, and uh, it, it makes me all tingly inside it, and, and fuzzy. It makes me fuzzy. But anyway, I'll be seeing y'all next time. Peace out. Don't kill yourselves. Don't listen to Leafy that much. I mean, he's cool. He ain't that cool. He ain't your grandpappy. Be seeing y'all next time, guys.